BBC One. It's five to five. those for electrically operated doors. Now Fab 1 is 22 feet. 6 inches long and he's 8 feet wide. He weighs over 3 tons, which is about the weight of a medium-sized elephant. It's got 2 rear wheels and 4 front. And underneath this enormous bonnet is a 3 litre engine which will take the car up to 150 miles an hour. The driver sits here in the middle of the front and as well as having all the controls at his uh, fingertips that he needs to actually drive the car, he also has several other odd controls which control all the gimmicks on the car. For instance, this switch here controls uh, the front number plates which can be revolved. And there they go. Just like on the James Bond car we had in the studio a little while ago. And they can be very, very handy indeed if you're in a chase. And there's another switch which, by operate, opens up the front radiator grill so that I can use the machine gun which is beginning to poke its nozzle through the front there. And if by any chance I'm in a really desperate straight and I have, I have to fire the machine gun at night, then I've got six great big headlights to light up the target. You got some bright lights there, Pete. That's great. Well, sitting in the back, I've got a really splendid all-round view with this Perspex dome here, which, by the way, has got special built-in protection against bullets. And if by any chance the scenery is pretty dull and I don't want to look at it, I can always ask the driver to switch on the television, which is in the front dash. The television screen is here. But uh, before it can be used, well, I've got to put up the aerial with this switch. There they go. You don't just use the uh, television set for looking at programs, because if I come round the back and open up this enormous boot, inside, just here, is a closed circuit television set, and you can see what's coming up behind you through this tiny little window here. And it's a really complicated way of having a rear view mirror, but I should think it's very useful in emergencies. And altogether, this car costs £11,000, and it isn't surprising when you consider that, apart from a lot of the machinery, there are 15 electric motors and over three miles of wiring. Well, I don't think you'll be seeing many other cars like this on the roads. 